Yeah, you ever uh, heard of No Tip, No Trip? Yeah. Oh, you have? So you know what No Tip, No Trip is, <laughs> and you chose not to tip on the order. <laughs> and you know what it is. That's even better. Have you ever heard of No Tip, No Trip? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to see why there ain't no tip on there. It's a lot of pizza. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up, family? Checking in. Hope everybody out there having a great day, profitable day. Make sure you get your taxes done on time. Don't, don't, don't skip. Don't wait. Don't waste no time because, you know, the IRS do not play. And if you got some kids, you winning out there. You know what I'm talking about. So, look, we finna get right into it today, man. Look, these folks on TikTok is crazy as hell. But it's all good, though. Because, look, they made they opened my eyes and made me realize something. Mandatory tipping is, is coming soon on DoorDash because all this notoriety we getting on No Tip, No Trip, all these customers getting so mad, DoorDash going to have to pay more or they going to force the customers to tip. So, I'm calling it right now. 2023 is going to be the year of mandatory tips on DoorDash, and I know it's going to be a lot of customers out there that's angry about this because, right, they've been getting their orders, and they feel like they shouldn't be forced to tip, but you know what? I feel the same way. You shouldn't be forced to tip, right? But the tipping culture has got to this point, and it's gotten so bad over these years, especially with food delivery, has, and food delivery has really escalated it to the point that we are right now, to the point where when I confront a customer, it goes viral, right? I do not recommend anybody copy what I did or do anything like that, right? We're not going to get into that, but just let's just not do that. Safety first. It's going to be some mandatory tipping coming in 2023. It ain't going to be nothing y'all can do about it. All these haters on TikTok that's mad, you're going to be mad on when it's going to be a forced tip on that order that you're trying to place. You thought you just going to order something for, you know, 25 and then bag that tip out. Nope, it's going to be a forced mandatory tip. So mark my words, it's January right now. But I, I bet you by sometime this year, DoorDash going to either pay more because they forced to because the customers are going to complain enough to where that they don't want to be embarrassed on, on the internet. And DoorDash is going to have to do something to make them feel like, you know, they being accommodated. But it may be a situation where DoorDash say, hey, you know what? We got all the cards. We got we got all, the balls in our court. So actually, we not going to pay the dashers more. Actually, we're going to make it a situation where there's a mandatory tip. There's going to be a minimum tip. There's going to be a minimum amount that you have to tip on each order. And if you don't want to do that, you're not going to be able to place the order at all. And there's going to be a lot of consumers out there that's going to be very angry about this. But I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because most of the customers who tipping on DoorDash, they don't, they're not even worried about this whole conversation we haven't. We haven't because no tip, no trip don't apply to them. So it's almost like we in a whole separate dimension talking about all these issues and things because the tipping customers is not gonna make them one bit of a difference if a mandatory tip is implemented on, on these platforms because they already doing it. It's not a situation where nine times out of 10 they tip and one time they don't. The great customers tip every single time. So it's gonna be the no tip customers which are the majority of DoorDash's customers, no tip and low bar customers, they the ones who's gonna have a real problem with this. And DoorDash is gonna be the platform that has the most problem when mandatory tips become implement implemented. It's already legislation happening all around the country in different states, forcing DoorDash's hand, forcing them to show full tip transparency, forcing them to standardize the delivery process in general from Dasher all the way to customer drop off, right? It's not gonna be a stretch to think that the government might implement more things and force DoorDash to do things. What those things are gonna be, we don't know yet, but Dash and Trader was the one to make it happen because you gotta realize, in order for us to get paid more, customers have to get angry. The customer's been happy for too long, and now that they get angry and pissed off, they voicing their concerns, and that's what I wanted because they not concerned about us making a living wage as drivers when they happy. They only gonna be concerned about it when it concerns them. And now we done made it concern them. And by letting them know that we not taking their order and we gonna let it sit cold and we calling them miserable clowns, by letting them know all of these things, it's pissing them off. And that's a great thing because once somebody get pissed off, you know, a pissed off person gonna do something quicker than a person who happy. Anger inspires action quicker than happiness does. And that's just a common fact. We capitalized on pissing them off and that's going to make DoorDash do something. Yeah, I've been deactivated and made them do that. In the end, I believe that this is going to make drivers make more money. And that's what the goal is. If we can help drivers make more money in the future, that's better than me making a couple dollars right now. And, and, and another thing I want to talk on, 
Megan Risman dropped that video and she really shed a light on a lot of things, man. I want to say Bentley Coop, shout out to you, man, because look, you really held yourself to a professional standard when it came to all this nonsense that's going on because now that I understand a little bit more about the parameters that DoorDash has put you in and the things that you can and cannot do within the confines of that contract that they had you sign, which is probably way more stricter than the one that they tried to give Megan. I understand why your channel is DoorDash Diaries and, you know, the, the way you use your words and the things you say and even the videos you put out because you have no control over it at this point. And I understand that now because the same way that they was trying to take her likeness and basically bombard her channel and take it over that's basically what they done to yours and i understand it it's for it's for the money and i ain't hating on that but i didn't realize you know address me or address the situation you can't do that because you need doordash's permission to talk or say anything and now that i understand that i want to say that i want to get certain things that you have to do and certain clearance clearances and authorizations you need before you can engage or even put content out on your channel or even detail and curtail the things you say on your videos i understand now bro and no hard feelings look i what, what what what's happening right now is messing up the bag it's messing up the bag and i understand that bro but what you got to realize is you did what's best for you and i'm doing what's best for all dashers so i understand completely why megan didn't want to sign that contract i wouldn't sign that either i built i worked hard to build up my channel and i'd be damned if i just sign it away sign my whole life away, my whole likeness, my whole image, my brand that I've built on social media, I'd be damned if I just signed that away to DoorDash for a little bit of, you know, w w I don't know what they gave you, but based off of the what they was offering Megan, that seemed like a little bit of money to me. And I just wouldn't, I, I don't think that's worth it at all. Because at this point, if you sign that contract, they basically control your whole channel. You have no channel no more. That's, that's DoorDash voice and they window to promote more things and 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 really just use their words and uh, voice their opinions and promote the things they want to promote and i i just can't see them writing me a check for the amount of zeros i need to make that happen so i i, I i'm uh, right there with megan i can't i can't rock with that but if that's something that you did for your benefit i ain't knocking that bro at all do you do that and i ain't gonna speak on nothing else because you can't speak back and i understand that now you got to get your money but the one question i do have is when you sign that contract are you allowed to then make a separate channel and do some other things on the side or do they really like monitor everything you do no matter if you branch off and do a separate channel and, and create a separate brand like that's one question i really do have about all of this but i just wanted to hit y'all with that real quick Nice, short, sweet video. We ain't even finna edit this one that much. I might cut out a couple ums and eyes and butts. But that's it, man. I'm giving it to y'all raw. Make sure you check out my merch. Link will be in the description. If you Look, if you're struggling out there, I want you to go ahead and check out my solo link, man. You can download that. Okay, they got guaranteed earnings. They have mileage tracker. They got all types of things that can help you out. They, can, they got leaderboards. They can show you the most profitable time to be working in your area. You really need to make sure you're using Solo. So this is not a paid video. I just wanted to make sure that I'm giving y'all all the things that I think that can help y'all and, and, and be a tool and make and help you make more money easier. That's what it's all about. So link, link for the Solo will be in the description. Link for the No Tip, No Trip FDA Family merch will be in the description. And let me know what you think about those things we talked about. Mandatory tips coming in 2023. DoorDash, DoorDash trying, trying to buy your soul. soul. Would you Let sell your what soul you think? to DoorDash Would you for sell your soul per to DoorDash for $100 per referral? Like, that ain't worth it to me. Like, I can't see myself doing that right there. But to each his own. Let me know would you do it. And if so, what would be the amount you would sell your soul for? I'll catch you in the next one.